I, I love being a writer. I think it's a joy. It's my passion. That's what I was born to do. I, I still remember there was a time when uh, I would hide these books inside my textbooks, even when I had an exam the next day. And she's like, "What job? Who do you know in Bombay?" I said, "No one. But I'll cold call." We need more women to make this a better place to work in. Press the bell icon on YouTube and don't miss another update. I would uh, introduce myself um, as a woman who wants to play by her own rules, define her own success, and uh, make a life uh, that she's proud of. Mother uh, was an English professor. Um, father was a businessman. Uh, with two siblings, I was the middle child and always suffered from this syndrome of not being loved enough. So after my uh, schooling, I went on to uh, study in Delhi University. I finished my graduation from St Stephen's, and then I went to St Xavier's and did a course in advertising and marketing and from there on I went to London School of Economics for my masters post graduate I wouldn't want to spend my free time uh, away from a book uh, even when I was a child so it was very a uh, natural desire to write my own stories and uh, and write these characters and I, I I can't tell you a definite time but uh, I was always I think it just as I, I grew up the the desire to write kind of grew with me and there was an extreme stress on a good education uh on plan b in my house because we had to be uh, independent and it was inculcated uh, in us uh, at a very young age that that which again i'm very grateful to my parents for that for women uh, for girls uh, financial freedom independence and a career is perhaps more important than going and finding uh, prince charmings Was I think in Bangalore and all, and I said I'm I'm coming to Bombay. And I'm going to secretly try and get a job. So I can tell them I've got a job and I don't need to kind of go back. I'll just submit my dissertation. And and she's like, what job? Who do you know in Bombay? I said no one, but I'll cold call. She said, tell him marketers cold call. You don't cold call people and say hey give me a job. I said just let, let me just come and try. And literally I I cold called uh, Red Chilies. and so on and so forth i started my journey i learned everything that i had to in those initial years about film making that I, i had no idea so it was literally starting from scratch and uh, and i wrote my first book while i was interning and and climbing the ladder from you know being an intern to uh, producing assistant producer then the di- assistant director i felt that if i have an understanding of how uh, films are made i'd be able to write for it in a better manner manmarzia was my first um so to speak independent piece of work it was like a a, th- a wish thing that you know I, and it was like after 3 years in fact or 2 years in fact anurag came on board and anurag was not even in the picture so i was like oh it will be amazing if anurag kind of directs it and she's like yeah right the reason why i wanted to kind of portray the characters which were chipped who have complexes who may not perhaps make the right decisions who could be selfish uh who could be genuine who could be nurturing but they could also be uh, liars and cheaters because you know in real life this is who we are we and sometimes you know when we see these characters on screen while i was growing up i was looking at these characters and i always would judge myself and i would always use them as a yardstick for who i am the outside it could be oh bas kahani likh li kya karna hai aapko you know but you know there is so many things there is self doubt there is a practical consideration there is money there is life to be made there is life to be lived so many things that you are negotiating with and there is this whole fear of failure that uh, you know maybe i'm not good enough i love being a writer i think it's a joy i think it's my passion that's what i was born to do but i also think it's a difficult thing to be a writer it's a disease i think it's a painful to be a writer very early on the the rejection and the judgments was something that you have to learn and you have to train yourself to cast them aside even if they are partially right 
there's a process that you need to protect yourself so there's a lot of i played a lot of mind games with my own self to protect myself and shield myself from this doubt because the biggest thing that can kill a writer's voice is doubt i think the world at large is changing and they're finally waking up the fact that we need more women to make this a better place to work in like every bit any workplace we need more women in the parliament we need more ministers we need more women in the corporate sectors in uh, who are breaking the glass ceiling we need more women directors we need more women storytellers for the sheer fact that we need more women telling their stories and perspectives because we are literally the other half of this entire planet that exists here if we tell more stories about women if we tell more stories about their achievements if we tell more stories about the the problems that they face people will people or men more so will uh, at least identify with it a little more they will see a point of view that perhaps they have not seen before in fact uh, the biggest uh, you know victory as a storyteller that when you plant an idea when you plant a hope uh in somebody's heart and mind uh it's literally as clo- close to godliness as you can get i personally feel it takes balls to be a woman in a man's world today and i'm totally proud of being a woman and uh my commitment to be the heroine of my life instead of the victim my commitment to see every situation that comes my way uh that i'm not going to be victimized by it and i'm going to stand tall through it is something that makes me invincible what makes me invincible is uh the commitment to the idea that whatever the downfall whatever the setback i will be the heroine of my life and not a victim and that's what makes me invincible and i'm so proud to be a woman <laughs>